Uh, congratulations on the win. Overall thoughts on your performance in that fight. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm very happy to be here, uh, get the job done tonight. And like I said before, uh, I've, I'm made to, to, to uh, do this kind of a fight, you know. I'm a, I'm a hard fighter. I like to fight. Uh, I just need to be more uh, composed and just let everything loose soon in the fight. But overall, I'm very happy with the, the performance. It was a very grueling fight until you got the finish. Uh, physically, how do you feel? You're throwing a lot of leg kicks, a lot of body shots in there. So physically after this, are you beat up at all? Or are you seemingly OK? No, I think just, just maybe my leg. I think I, I took too, too many uh, low kicks. But no, uh, I, I think uh, he's going to be more messed up than me uh, tomorrow. In the, the opening round, he came out very aggressive. Were you expecting this from him, considering he had such a long layoff that he would be this fast right away? Yeah, we knew that he would come very aggressive. Uh, that was the part of the game plan, just to be sharp uh, at the beginning. But just let, let, it, let him just be tired, gassed out a little bit, and just do my things and pick my shots. A little bit of a weird uh, sequence there at the end before you got the, uh, before you knocked him down. Uh, his mouthpiece had come out. It looked like he was bending down to get it, and then the referee kind of didn't know what to do. What was happening in there from your point of view? I don't know. I, no, that wasn't bother me. I just, I saw the mouthpiece down, but I just keep going, and the, the referee just stopped the fight, put the mouthpiece back, and we just, I was already on the, the, the action, so I don't care. And finally, uh, I'm sure you want to heal up first, but how, when do you want to get back in there? Is, or is, is there anyone specific that you want to fight when you come back? Uh, I'm the type of guy who uh, I like to be active. So right now, after uh, this crazy year, I, ju I just want to look at myself, uh, where I just want to put the work in, uh, just get back in the gym, because back home in Canada is, right now is just crazy. So I just, I just want to take some time off. Uh, look everything and yeah uh, like I said before I have one guy in my mind that I would like to fight so bad and it's Eric Enders so I think him and me is gonna be a good uh, good matchup for sure. Why specifically Eric and Anders? I don't know I, I follow him since maybe two years and I like his style he's, he's aggressive he's, yeah he has a background uh, a football background just like me and I don't know he's a big middleweight he show up to fight, and I just like his style, so yeah. Did you feel, over here, did you feel like the fight should have been stopped earlier? Maybe. Uh, I heard the, the, the ref, he said uh, three or four times to uh, my opponent, just f fight back, fight back, and I just, I saw, I saw the blood, I saw his eyes, he, he I, I think he just quit inside of him, so. It was just a matter of time to uh, get a job done. I do see that he connected on a few. About how long do you think uh, you want to take time off before you get back in there? I would like to fight uh, maybe at the end of uh, the summer. So yeah, just take some maybe one or two months just to heal back and just put the work in and just look at uh, the video with my coaches and getting better. Thank you. Just one for me. Yep. How good does it feel to, to finally get in the win column? I know it's, it had to be very trying for you to just all this time and loss after loss after loss. But what does this mean for you to, to get back on to, to the winning ways? Oh, it feels amazing, man. Uh, I had a pretty, uh, you know, roller coaster uh, since my, my, my UFC debut. Uh, I've learned a lot during all my, my fights. Uh, I never had a, a easy fight. Uh, uh, I faced uh, good wrestlers at my first fight. Uh, I fought the, the top 15 guy in my second fight. And after that, I just, I won my last fight here in Vegas. Uh, what happened, happened. And after that, I just, you know, I just look at myself and I just, uh, I, I tell to myself, let's go, let, let's get the job done and you know, show what I've made of, so yeah. Did you feel coming in that you had a little bit of extra pressure on you having um, the losses on there? And, and does that feel completely off your shoulders now? Do you feel like a, a brand new fighter coming in here now that you've got a win on, on your record? Yeah, so I knew uh, my back was against the wall uh, before this fight. But right now, you know, each fight, 
I will put myself in this mindset. I just have to do, do the work, fight hard, and you know, don't expect too much from after the fight. Just, you know, one day after the other and just let everything go and win. Just win, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats, Mark. Quick one for me. Um, so you, it was total domination. You did absolutely great. But was there anything that he did that surprised you or troubled you in those 15 minutes? Uh, I think he was more sharp than I expected, uh, especially in the first, uh, the first round. We knew that he, he will come up with uh, big hooks. Uh, he's a brawler, so, but he was more, he, he was more uh, his tactic was, you know, good shots. Uh, the good pressure. I think, I think the my 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 weaknesses in, in this fight was was me. I was too much in my head, uh, especially in the first round. And after my uh, my coach uh, talked me uh, between the round one and two, I just be myself and do do the job. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you, sir. Thank you.